Hi, my name is Karwano Abin Kamunakaha. Today I will talk about how to write a hypothesis. Firstly, what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is state the operation about what your research will find. It is a tentative answer to your research question that has not yet been tested. For some research project, you might have to write several hypotheses that address different aspects of your research question. A hypothesis is not just a guess, it should be based on existing theories and knowledge. It also has to be testable, which means you can support or refute it through scientific research method. For example, as experiments, observations, and stati statistical analysis of data. Next is variable in hypothesis. In experimental and correlation research, hypotheses propose a relationship between two or more variables. An independent variable is something the researcher change or controls. A dependent variable is something the researcher observes and measures. For example, daily apple consumption leads to fewer doctor's visits. In this example, dependent variable is apple consumption. The assume is cost. The dependent variable is the frequency of doctor's visits. The assume is effect. Next is developing a hypothesis. First, ask a question. Writing a hypothesis begins with a research question that you want to answer. The question should be focused, specific, and researchable within the constraints of your projects. For example, do students who attend more lectures get better exam results? Next is do some pre preliminary research. Your initial answer to the question should be based on what is already known about the topic. Look for theories and previous study to help you form educate assumptions about what your research will find. At this stage, you might construct a conceptual framework to identify which variables you will study and what you think the relationships are between them. Next is formulate your hypothesis. Now you should have some idea of what you expect to find. Write your initial answer to the question in a clear, concise sentence. Attending more lectures lead to better exam results. Next is refine your hypothesis. You need to make sure your hypothesis is specific and testable. There are various ways of phrasing your hypothesis, but all the terms you use should have a clear definition and the hypothesis should contain the relevant variables, the specific group being studied, the predicted outcome of the experiment of analysis. And number five is phrase your hypothesis in three ways. To identify the variables, you can write a simple prediction in if then form. The first part of the sentence states the independent variables and the second part states the dependent variables. For example, if a first year student starts attending more lectures, then their exam scores will improve. In academic research, hypotheses are more commonly phrased in terms of correlations or effects, where you are di directly state the predicted relationship between variables. For example, the number of lectures attended by the first year student has a positive impact on their exam scores. If you are comparing two groups, the hypothesis can state what difference you expect to find between them. For example, first year students who attend more lectures will have better exam scores than those who attend few lectures. And lastly, write a null hypothesis. If you research involves statistical hypothesis testing, you will also have to write a null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is the default position that there is no association between the variables. The null hypothesis is written as HO while the alternative hypothesis is H1 or HA. For the null hypothesis, the number of lectures attended by first year students has no effect on their final exam scores. And for the alternative hypothesis, the number of lectures attended by the first year student has a positive impact on their final exam score. For, thank you for listening.